Oh, yeah. Pichon, baby. Well, good day, folks, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm pretty excited. I've got a sponsor for this video, and that's Low Tide Lures, Australian made soft plastics, and they do sell other items as well. So, check out their website. I will leave a link in the description below. They're also on Facebook and Instagram. So, I fished a system that I know, and I threw these soft plastics and a few other styles ribbon tail minnow that they make, and a little slim min, a little uh, clear slim min, white color with a bit of glitter through it that I accidentally bled with a chartreuse, I think it was, and the, the tail's yellow. Um, and I couldn't believe it, I was just catching one after another. Sometimes I wasn't even hopping the soft plastic. So I run through a couple of areas where I target using low tide soft plastics. And uh, yeah, we catch some pretty decent fish. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and also give uh, Low Tide Lures a, a follow on all their socials as well and check out their products on their website. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the footage. Tight life. What I'm doing is just targeting these weed edges and drop offs. I know there's a nice drop off there. Wind's playing havoc with me at the moment though. So flathead will sit on those drop offs and weed edges and wait in ambush for the prey. As we do cast out to where we think that weed edge is, which is probably about there. It's quite shallow up at those trees, so that'll hold a lot of bait fish. And then as it drops off down, you can see it's gone slack fairly quick, so it's just on the bottom. Give it a flick, and then we're hopping it back down. And as you get closer to the boat, that plastic will take longer to get to the bottom because that's it's coming down the depth. So that took twice as long. So that's that shelf there. The boat's sitting in five metres of water, but we're casting our lure pretty much in half a metre on top of that ledge there. Just going to work my way up to that corner there, see if there's anything sitting on the corner. And then if not there's a beautiful sand spit you can't see it because the water is so flooded at the moment there's a beautiful sand spit point that comes right out there all the way out so we're going to target those edges as well we'll keep having a flick here first see if we can drum up anything any flathead sitting on that drop Just flick. When that line goes slack, you see that line rest. Give it a couple of seconds and then hop it again. It's on the bottom now. Hop it again. As it gets closer to the boat, we're in deeper water, so it's taking longer to sink down that sandy drop off. And it's just a matter of finding where the flathead is sitting, what depth they're sitting. There's a bit of a low barometer the last couple of days, so they might be sitting in deeper water. If we don't get one off the sand spit over there, I'll be very, very surprised. So that's a prime spot, but give all these areas a go first. Once again, just working our way up to this corner, there's a bit of 
probably a bit of flow and the wind coming around there so that might attract a flathead in a prime spot on the bend. It's a nice little flathead. Here's a little flathead. There it is. Tiny one. So there he is. First flathead of the day. Little tiny one, probably 30 centimeters. Pretty much off that snag there. Second drop, another flooded, another small one. There he goes. a bit wider and there's a great bite that it's slightly bigger but not really slightly bigger great bite Slightly bigger. Still not what we're after, but there you go. He's getting a bit better. What is he? Forty-two centimeters. Little forty-two centimeter dusky flathead. Yeah, I'll see you, buddy. I'm not sure whether you can see it on the camera, but where this point comes around, there's a big sand spit that goes from the end of that green all the way out to about here. So the depth goes from about half a meter by those reeds and it slowly drops down either side. So it comes towards me and it goes in towards the creek and the beautiful big sand spit. So, What I'm going to do is target this side of the sand spit and then if not I'll go in and target the other side of the sand spit. Alright, let's test this out. This is a low tide lure minnow that's been bled with a Z-Man grub. So we've got a bit of a light colour and a bit of a fluoro colour. So let's see if that'll catch a flathead. Yeah, yes it will, is the answer to that, straight away. Ooh, hello. 
It's a better one too. Whoa. Is that a flathead? It is a flathead. Jumping flathead. I have to net this one, I think, slightly bigger. There he is. Beautiful. He's a mid 40s fish. There was that. <laughs> That's what I've just caught him on. There you go. That's a beautiful 51 centimetre flathead, that one. Yeah, there you go. Try to spike me. Did not succeed. I wonder if it was the light natural colour or the fluoro colour that worked or whether it's a combination. There you go. There's another one. Well, oh, whatever it is, it's working, eh? Might have, might have stumbled onto something here. There's like another decent fish. his head down. There we go. Another one. Another good fish. Going up to that 50 centimetre mark. There it is. It's that low tide lure, minnow style plastic. Bled chartreuse kind of body kind of, that I've kind of created in the uh, tackle box. Let's go again. It's two cracking flathead. 50 centimeters, 53. Oh, that was a fish. There you go. Another one. I'm loving it. I think you got to make these. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. This light colour bled with the motor oil. Can't stop catching them. This one feels a bit smaller, but. Yeah, it's got a, got a bit bigger. Oh, it's a lovely flathead. Low tide lures, doing the job today. Bang. Absolutely on fire. Look at that. Whoa, he's fresh. As soon as that landed. So while we're on a low tide uh, roll, just going to chuck on this bit of a fluoro -y prawn colour. It's got the white and the fluoro, so one sixth jig out again. Let's see if we can get another one. There we go. Low tide. Absolutely going nuts. These flathead for him. Must be that white with the fluoro colours. One hot bang. Another flathead. Smaller one, but see that lure hanging out of its mouth. There he is. There it is. There 
it is. That prawn. Alright, so what I'm going to go now is another low tide, it's a paddle tail, things are three and a, a three inch in a special colour they made up for me, it's like a chartreuse with some glitter through it. Let's have a go at that. Could this be the third lure in a row to catch me a flathead? Yep, it is. <laughs> on, the, on the hop! Oh my god! You are kidding me. This is unbelievable. Mate, get onto some of these. <laughs> I can't believe it. I haven't even hopped it. Three in a row, bang. Oh my God. Not a big fish, but he's uh, flathead nonetheless. There it is, that lure again. Straight away, bang. See ya, mate. I didn't even hop it. It's unbelievable. All right, folks, well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. As I said, pretty full on action on the low tide lures. Kept chopping and changing colors and styles and it, they just they just catch fish. So really, really happy with them. I'll be using them a lot uh, from now on. They're a great Aussie made uh, soft plastic and you've got to support Australian companies at the moment. So hope you've enjoyed that video. Please hit that like and subscribe to the channel. It's free and then uh, just leave a comment, you know, what, what you'd like to see, what else you'd like to see on the channel. And uh, I'll, uh, yeah, feedback's more than welcome as long as it's, you know, not abusive and foul language. So thanks again for watching. I will see you on the next one.